So today we take on Bayer Leverkusen in the Champions League and it should be a very good game. The season is going swimmingly well. Roll the intro. No, I won't stop. Welcome back to the folks in the Victor Save. It's a pleasure to have you with me. I am Cultured Left Foot, and if it sounds a little bit weird, the microphone's off to the side today. And if you can see this just here, this is my steering wheel in place because I haven't removed it from my desk yet. And uh, we are streaming over on Twitch quite a lot of F1. We're doing F1 Fridays, which should be good fun. We're doing at least one race in the Grand Prix with my team, COW Racing, for Cultured on Wheels Racing. We'll be over on Twitch. On uh, Friday nights in Singapore, it'll be starting around about half past one UK time on Friday. So I hope to see you there. But this isn't F1. This is Football Manager. And that's what you're all here for. So the season so far, yeah, it's going it's going pretty well. We're, uh, we're in the Champions League group with Leverkusen, Eidenhoven and Olympic Lyonnais. Which is, uh, I'd say, a bit of an average group. It's not easy. It's not hard. Um, Leverkusen obviously are biggest opponents in it. But there's no one, there's no like one whipping boy. I think we should win it, and these three should all be pretty similar, is what I'm thinking about this group. Um, whereas if you look at like Chelsea, Barcelona, Sporting, and Hashtag Split, you would say Chelsea and Barcelona will go through, Sporting will come third, and Hashtag will go uh, finish bottom. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's go and let's go and see the season. Let's go and see the season. So <laughs> we uh, beat Burnley five one in the last episode of the first C's game of the season, and I said we were going to accelerate through and play quite a lot of games, and that's exactly what we've done. We beat Southampton three nil. We beat Arsenal one nil. We lost to Chelsea one nil. It's not going to be an unbeaten season, folks. We uh, beat Newcastle three nil. We drew with Leon one one away from home. Disappointing. We beat Stoke City three nil. We beat Norwich on penalties in the FL Cup third round. We beat Fulham two nil. We beat PSV at home 4-0 very convincingly in the Champions League. We beat Nottingham Forest 1-0 and we've just drawn 1-1 with Man City. Now I know I said we'd come back for a triple header of Man City, Bayer Leverkusen and Man United. The reason I didn't do Man City live is because they're not very good anymore. Um, yes, they're, they're down in sixth. So they're not really... I mean, they're, they're in touching distance at the moment, but I don't see them really being a challenge for us. So Norwich are flying high, which is incredible. Uh, Man United in third, Tottenham fourth, Chelsea fifth, Manchester sixth, Bournemouth seventh. And I didn't mention it, we're top. Uh, played nine, won seven, drawn one, lost one, goal difference plus 16. Man United, the only team to really rival us in terms of goals, but we're two points off better than them. That doesn't make sense. Two points off better than them. But... Yeah, it's, uh, it's going well. It's going well. This is the year, though. We've already said Champions League is everything we want. I just hit my steering wheel. It really hurt. Champions League is what we want. This is... We've won everything else you can possibly win in this save. We've won the Super Cup. We've won the Europa League. We've won the Europa Conference League. We've won the League Cup. We've won the FA Cup. we won the Charity Shield. Did we win the, uh, the thingy? You know, the Johnson Paints Trophy, or whatever it's called. I'm pretty sure... We did. Uh, can I go overview? Does it just show like trophies won? Award 16. I want that bit where it says like, you know, you've won this many trophies. So we won the um, awards, lamb, competitions. So we won the Community Shield, won the FA Cup, won the league, Premier League. We won the Super Cup, we've won the Community Shield. We've won the Europa League, the Emirates Cup and the Premier League. Oh yeah, we've won it back to back. Yeah, how did I forget that? Uh, we've won the Carabao Cup. We won the Europa Conference League. We won the Skybet League One. Oh yeah, we didn't win League Two, did we? We won the Build Base FA Trophy. We did win it, and we won the Vanarama National League. Look how far back this goes. It is brilliant. We didn't thinking about it now. We didn't even win the Ishman Premier Division. Wow! And we didn't win the Integro Dudson League Cup. We got knocked out by Potter's Bar. Wow, it's incredible to see how our fortunes have changed. Um, comparing us to Potter's Bar Town. They knocked us out of that Trump competition, but they're floundering now in the CL. The Betver Division 1 Central. Keep going, Potter's Bar. You'll, you'll get there. You'll get there. Um, but yes, we're playing Bayer Leverkusen. This is how we're going to line up. Ramos in goal. Gunlaugs and Gashi. Cano, Walter at the back. Del Bianco and Revy in the middle. Chia, Taylor, Osmani on the left. And Chalk up front. It's been a very good start to 
Osmani's second stint at the club. Three goals, four assists in nine games. The kid is unreal. Uh, four goals in nine appearances for Charlie Chalk. Four goals and four assists in nine games for Javier Chia, who is still wanted by Man City and now Man United. Um, Charlie Chalk is wanted by Tottenham. Jan Volta is wanted by Tottenham. Pablinho is wanted by Bournemouth from West Ham. Ross, you are wanted by lower league clubs that we're not going to loan you out to. And Juan Cruz Fernandez is wanted by Newcastle, Olympic Nims, Olympic Leon, and Villa Ray out. So he's probably the only one I'd consider selling that are, that are wanted by another club. So it's been very good. It's been going very, very well. Um, that's the team we're going to use. The subs, um, Pablinho's not on the bench because he was representing Brazil, but I may put him back on the bench instead of Fernandinho now. Um, oh, yes, Fernandinho is back. Remember this guy? Yeah, we sent him out alone to Wolfsburg. He did pretty well. 13 goals in 31, three assists, four player of the matches. Uh, we've brought him in. He scored one in one. Um, you probably won't see too much of him because he's mainly used in like League Cups and the games in the Premier League where we rotate our team around. So we don't do very many of them live on camera. But let's get into the game. Leverkusen are up. We're away in Germany, but we're going to start playing our custom tick attack, vertical tick attacker formation that we've adapted over time um, and if needs be we know that we can change to the three at the back formation which is wonderful they're lining up in a 4-2-3-1 as well so it should be a pretty good game um, we should also do this for the fans should we um, yeah all right you can why not yeah why not passionately we have faith we have faith and we have faith. Gotta have faith to beat the beat. Gotta have faith to beat the beat. Uh, into the tunnel. Both teams come into this one in good form. How do you rate your chances ahead of kickoff? Uh, they're a good team. We're relishing the chance of damaging. I never normally do these. Hope you're rid of it. Yeah, he's been playing really well. I wanted to keep him up. Uh, Sabe's just out. And obviously, we might have risked him, but didn't feel we need to do so here. And uh, away we go. Away we go. So, 10 minutes gone. Uh, pretty even. Three shots each. Two on target each. Uh, no one really taking a proactive stance to go and win the game it seems but uh, they're a little bit more fired up than us so let's give them a bit of a team talk and we've got a highlight uh, Gunnar comes with a throw into Gashi Gashi comes forward with it lays it all the way back to Ramos he goes into Del Bianco into Revy Revy is tackled Del Bianco picks it up Charlie Chalk into Chia Javier Chia accelerates into the box Javier Chia shoots side netting probably shouldn't have shot from there Javier but we'll let you off you're having a good season Gunnar with another throw Revy picks up back to Gunnar we just seem to be asserting our dominance. Osmani with a header, it's a goal. Ridvan Osmani, the boy is on form. He's on a yellow card, he's got a goal. What an assist from Revy. Beautiful play. We are on fire. Revy into Gunlaugsen. Gunlaugsen back to Revy. Revy all the way to the back post. And Osmani's there because he's a tall winger. You've got to remember, when we first signed him for the club, he was a striker. Um, and we converted him to play as an inside forward. And now we're playing as a winger that is allowed to cut inside. So... Yeah, he's, uh, he's got it all. He's got it all. He's tall. And that's why we signed him in the first place. He was tall with very good potential. Cheers in. Cheers, shoots. Oh, it's two. And I said Leverkusen were going to be our toughest opponent of the group. And we're currently 2-0 up inside 33 minutes away in Germany. They are being carved apart far too easily, as it said at the bottom of the screen. Chalk laid it in. They both went to Charlie Chalk. Cheer made the run beyond. Got in there. Keeper didn't even... He just fell over. He was like, oh, no. I don't want to do my job. So we tick down towards half time. It looks like we're taking this 2 0 lead in. They've had a few number of shots. We're not creating that much, to be honest, but we have been very clinical, and I'm going to say I'm very pleased. Keep it going. Nothing else to report. Second half. Get No, let's praise them. We're 2 0 up away from home. Praise, obviously. When you go 2 0 up, just praise your team. Always works. Always gets green across the board. Throw in. It's Gunlaugson again. It's all coming down that right hand side. Revy into Gashi. Gashi into Del Bianco. I thought it was going to get tackled then. Cano. We haven't seen too much of him in this game at centre-back, which I guess is a good thing. Osmani, Del Bianco, Chalk. Del Bianco, Chalk. Osmani beats one. Into the area. Shoots. Oh, he's got another. This boy is too good. I'm so glad we brought him back. It was a lot of money, but my word is he making it worthwhile. Lovely goal from Osmani. 3-0 up away from home. Laid it into Del Bianco, into Chalk. Chalk back to Del Bianco. Chalk again. Osmani picks up. Just accelerated into the box. They couldn't keep up with him. This one's left-footed. Lovely goal. And on the 60-minute mark, because that's when we always make subs, James Taylor is going to come off and we're going to put in... Should play Paolo Cesar. It's going to bring Sabe. Uh, Sa 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 Sabe? I've always called him Sabe. Maybe it's just Sabe. Maxim Sabe. Does that sound better than Sabe? Sabe gives it a 
continental flair. Either way, he's not coming on. Paolo Cesare is going to come on to play in that role. So, does moot point. 70 minutes gone. Uh, we're going to make our second substitution. Del Bianco is going to come off and we are bringing Adele on to replace him. And, um, yeah, do you know what? Actually, we're going to take Chalk off and we are going to bring on Sabe. And put, uh, we're going to put Osmani out front and put Sabe on the left. Try and get Osmani that hat trick. Vest has given away a free kick. Gunlaugson will take it. Ball across. Osmani is in behind. Osmani. Oh, it should have been the hat trick. It should have been the hat trick as the sun has just ignited outside my window. Look at that on my face. I'll tell you what, having this steering wheel here makes it very nice to just rest on it. Kessler looks to get past Gunlaugson. Gunlaugson, great challenge there. I've got to shut that. I've got to sh just, it's, it's, sorry, there'll be a bit of a funny bit where the camera tries to organise with the new light, but that's better on my face as uh, that is the end of the game as Leon just got a winner with an own goal in the last few minutes but the second half we absolutely smashed them 3-0 win tidy done easy well done lads a cracking win this keeps us top of the Champions League group um, oh well done hashtag split 0-0 with Sporting always got a soft spot for Croatian football 2.32 million Osmani is on form he's on fire not just on form he's on fire post-match press conference they can go and do that and, uh, oh, the race car driver, Leclerc. Oh, no, Frank Leclerc was spotted. He wants to look at uh, Gunlaugsen, Taylor, and Chris Chalk for his England squad. And Germany manager, Manuel Neuer. Wow. Nice. Um, to look at Kurtic and Shashton. Shash, Shashton. Dirk Shashton. And Jurim Kurteshi. Kurteshi, that's an easy one to say. But, uh, yeah, glad he doesn't play for me. Uh, we'll be back for the game against Man United. See you in a bit. So we're back for the game against Manchester United. Easy, this one, because we're not going to change the first team at all. Everyone's had a day's rest, and now they've been back to training, and now they're back in play for the game. So Ramos, Gunlaugs, and Gashley, Cano, Walter, Del Bianco, Revy, Chia, Taylor, Osmani, and Chalk up front. The same bench as well. We're not going to change the bench around. I tempted to put uh, Yepes or Matsui on the... Actually, yeah, Paolo Cesar's going to come off, and Matsui's going to go on the bench. Um, Adele can stay on, Alabi can definitely stay on. We don't really need Fernandez on there with Alabi on there. So, yeah, but they're both coming on the bench after what I just said. They are both literally coming on the bench for this game. Let's go and play Man United. Tottenham have overtaken us in the league in the league table, but um, we've got a game in hand, which is obviously this one right now with Paul Tierney, who is still refereeing, who at this age is 55. Would he actually still be refereeing at 55? Potentially. I doubt he'd still be a Premier League referee at the age of 50. I don't know. How old's Mike Dean? I think he's the oldest. Mike Dean is 52. So, I th and I think he's been talking about this potentially being his last season. So, um, yes, let, there you go. There you go. I don't think he would be refereeing at the age of 55. But let's get into the game. We do have the three at the back formation that we can fall back on if we need to. That's always the reminder. I was tempted to do it, but we're at home. So I want to go with the, you know... Four at the back formation. I don't know why this symbolises four at the back, but it does. Uh, into the team talk. Uh, assertive. Oh, what is the... David... Uh, I'll tell you what. David Dunn got his spot on against Leverkusen. So we'll uh, we'll let him go again. Why not? We'll do sort of good cop, good cop. He says, just pick up where you left off last time. That was really good. And then I come in and they're expecting, like, harshness. And I'll just be like, no, I have faith in you to play like you did in the last game. Which is fine. So, um... How you approach the team in the Premier League? Leading goal scorer is quiet on this one. Uh, numbers are about beating them. Maybe we should fight fire with fire. Everyone would love a goal fest. You're first in the Premier League form table after a good recent run. Does that help ahead of kickoffs? I want to keep it going. How do you intend to seize the initiative against an opponent who, like Folkestone, prefer to dominate possession? We have to disrupt what they want to do and not let them do the same to us in return. Folks are unbeaten in seven matches against Man United. How much of an edge does that give you? It's an important tool. Here we go. We're off. Um, Cheers intercepted the ball on the midway park. It was a mix-up between Flavio and his teammate as Cheer comes forward with it. Tackled, though, by Abdullah Aydin, who was a long-term target. But we didn't go from this time. I did make it a transfer fee for this guy, Brownhill. Easy save for Ramos. Brownhill is, if we're doing this again, if we do another season, or in January, if we feel like we need a big investment of a big player, probably going to be Brownhill. Maru with a throw. Ask man, who is still at Man United? I thought they sold him. Carno into Medina, who has a year. He had like four years on loan with us. Medina. Flavio. Flavio ball in Brownhill. Good block. And Gashi gets it away. Chalk picks up the loose ball. Cheer is there. Can we counter? Chalk's in loads of space, but Cheer goes on his own. He's still going, Cheer. Patel. That's another one I'd really like to sign. Revy into Taylor. Del Bianco. Out towards Marnie, but intercepted by Maru. 
and uh, cleared away. Revy, corner, in it comes. Osmani can't get there, beaten in the air. Cheer picks it up, cheer shoots, blocked, second attempt to goal. Bang, Javier Cheer gets one, sixth of the season. We're doing really well this year. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Um, Revy with the ball in, Osmani got beaten in the air, but Cheer picked it up, one touch, two touches, left footed, right footed. Not going to save that, Mr. Goalkeeper. Free kick, Revy over the ball, in it goes. Gashi with the header, Osmani back post, and he headed it into the post, and it didn't go in. What an idiot. I bet the beam again. So, half time, and it is 1 0. That having a cheer goal is the difference at the moment. We are going to say, encourage the team. I think we're going to passionately say, I'm happy. Because I am happy. I don't think there's too much wrong with that. But assertively, we'll go from like passionately to an assertive. Come on, though. I've got faith in you to make this happen. We are going to sub off Jams Hames Talur, um, James Taylor, for Matsui. Matsui is going to come on. James Taylor was uh, making a lot of errors, according to the assistant manager. So that is what we're going to do. We'll demand a bit more from them. We are at home. Man United down in fifth. We're first. We should be getting more goals. Okay, just gone past the hour mark. Quick substitution. Charlie Chalkoff. Hablinio is going to come on up front. And uh, yes, let's see if he can bang us a goal. Gashi over the free kick into Gunnar Augsen. Over to Pablinio. We've just brought him on. He's got fresh legs. He's in behind Pablinio. He does. Does fire us. Another goal. I don't know what's going on with my hands today. I've got a lot of energy for this video. But we're 2-0 up. And it was an assist by Gunnar Augsen. Gashi took it short. Gunnar Augsen went no way. Sod that. Let's go long. Over the top. Pablinio ran off the back. It was this guy here. Marley that kept him on side. Keeper didn't even make an effort. Pablinio, the substitute, gets a goal. 2-0. We're going top of the league. Say, so, ooh, ah, top of the league. Say, so, we are top of the league. Kick. Nasi Unavar puts it in. And it's gone in. Dario Espesh has scored for them. Don't quite know how. I'm going to guess Ramos has come out and missed the ball. Yeah, what an idiot. What a knob. There was a lot of, uh, there was a couple of comments. A lot, I say a lot. There was a couple of comments um, saying, definitely going by and you got world-class goalkeeper. Probably should have listened to you. Matsui's on a 6.5 as well. Uh, Del Bianco's going to come off. We're going to bring on Adele. But we're actually going to drop Adele back in here. We're going to drop Matsui back there. Matsui becomes the Mizala. And you can become an advanced player on support. You can already do that. Done, 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 done. Done. Just a little bit more defensive. Um, they've got another throw. Don't do the same again. Especially this time to cross it. Nope, Matsui will get on the end of this. Clears it away. Pablinio brings it down really well. He's still going. Pablinio's into the box. He's on his own. Wild shot. He's gone laces when he needed instep to bend it. Two minutes to go. Time has absolutely flown. Up the line, Pablinho. He's doing all sorts of running today. Into Osmani. Back to Walter. Adele. Revy. Pablinho. What a move that is. What a fantastic save from Garizo. It was offside, but it was a lovely passing move. Is that 2 1? Five minutes to go. Osmani off. I've made all my subs. Every time. Every time. Right, Moreau. They've gone very attacking. Osmani. Our arse man brings it down. Into Abdullah Aydin. Arse man again. Aydin is there into Nasi Unavar. Nasi Unavar out to Maru. They are chucking many men forward. I really just want to hit him on the counter attack. Maru into Aydin again. Maru. Aydin again. Arsman tackled. Osmani picks it up into Kano to Revy to Adele. Over the top. Pablinio is in to wrap up the game. He should have gone around the goalkeeper, mate. Come on. But that is full time. It's a 2 1 win. A fantastic win. Rightfully puts us back at the top. And we've shown we're here to dominate England. Again, and Europe in this time. That's a very good episode where we go back top of the league, top of the Champions League group, top of the league, into the Carabao Cup next round. We won the Community Shield and we're not in the FA Cup yet because it hasn't been drawn. But if you've enjoyed it, please do leave a like, subscribe if you are new. Thank you so much for watching. Come check it out on Twitch when we're playing other games such as Tropico, Oxygen Not Included, and Formula One Fridays. But for now, I'm out. Cheers.